Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Today we're diving into the world of scamming. Everything you're about to see is purely reenactment and for educational purposes only, so you don't get scammed Yo, like people Big Rude, like this. Yo, Big Rude, leave it two months. What would you say if you met a scammer in real life? What do you mean you punch him? Yo, most, oh my God. Yo, this gotta be the toughest chain I've seen in my life. Yo, he has a card swipe chain. That's not, hold on, but why is nobody, come on, I can't be the only nigga that, it, we see so much generic chains, dog. that's not tough, it's fake. I can't lie to, damn, this now I got, got the fiends hooked, it's hard to say no, when they come back, they say they love the, they got the dick on them, chat, they got the little extender on that, chat, my 9mm got extender on it, Ext extensions just make every gun look cooler, it just makes it look a little bit cooler, bro. I know I lost those. I can't lie, the process wasn't perfect. I killed my tester. I gotta pay respects to my fiend, Heather. She took my put that up here. Everything's free today. Today we meet one of the most famous scammers. Uh, is that Dev Take Flight? Wait, is it? I don't think I've ever seen him. his face. There's no way. You talking about the 2K YouTuber? Wait, you talking about the YouTuber from 2K17, nigga? No, you're not. Are we talking about the same guy? Say you, say you swear this is him. Say you swear it is. Say it. What the fuck? Bro, this nigga went from 2K to prolific scammer? Bro, <laughs> <laughs> oh, how is that possible? Rappers on the internet. Punch made dev. He's made a name for himself as one of the biggest scam rappers on the internet with songs like How to Write a Dump and Punch Anthem. Media platforms, he flaunts an absurd amount of money and jewelry. Today, I ask him about the most common scams people are pulling right now so that we the people can better learn how to protect ourselves from scammers like him. The goal of this documentary is twofold. First, to be aware of how scammers operate, and second, to encourage viewers to be the hero and not the villain. Not only is scamming a loser way to make money, but it also can carry a heavy penalty of up to 20 years in prison. The reenactments you're about to see are for educational purposes only. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm hitting banks, dropping checks, cooking clones, and cracking cars. Our job today is to explore the most common scams that are out there, see how we can protect you, the viewer, from it, and also meet a guy that is a true internet phenomenon and character. Punch made that. We're not taking any chances with this guy. We don't know how good of a scammer he is, but I'm putting my wallet, <laughs> my credit cards, in the glove. Nigga, you don't think he can get it from the glove? Are you fucking insane? What are you driving? A bulletproof? Nigga driving a Chevy. He can get in that. He can get in that. Give him two minutes, he can get in that, and he can get all your shit. Bro. Bro, scammers are some of the smartest people, bro. Well, there are some dumb ones, but those are the ones that get caught. Scammers are some of the smartest people. Box. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. You look like you're out of a movie scene, dude. A character from GTA or something. Tough grip, tough grip. Character from GTA or something. I'm a fucking 99 of world game player. <laughs> These are What's all your props. Security number. I got yours. <laughs> How yeah. hard is it to scam somebody with uh, just their wallet? Bro, there's actually this device. You could put it right up to your fucking like wallet. You got that chip on it. That's what we researched, and that's why we hit our yes credit right. cards from you. You <laughs> said so you hit the credit cards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's <coming. laughs> Let's say I got it in my pocket like that, or like just like this on some shit. And you can just walk up to me and like, my bad, bro. What the? F this thing is an Assassin's Creed character, like Altair or Ezio. Yo, that's really how I be stealing from niggas in Assassin's Creed. I swear to God, I click the pickpocket button and this animation occurs. Every time. <laughs> oh, and then I own God, I have everything. Yes, I'm Tommy G now after that. <laughs> so you can steal what? My credit card, my debit card. Anything with a chip. Now picture this, you have my credit card and debit card. You just ran my account empty. Yeah. You feel bad? Nah. Banks will give you the money back. You ever heard of like a TLO lookup? Like if I had your first and last name, your social will come up every day. I could probably find you real quick. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Ooh, you're 29, eh? It's your birthday? You got a criminal record. Yeah, I got arrested. What the Dude, fuck? Go for it. I did a prank channel. I, I had a fake ball sack that I was had hanging out in my pants. And an old couple thought I was really showing them my ball sack. So they arrested me for indecent exposure. So they registered uh, a <laughs> my friend? No, I'm not a registered <laughs> sex offender. <laughs> How do you describe yourself in the scamming world? I feel like the whole world's a scam, but they just look at me as a bad guy. If I take money from you, you're going to get the money back. Nobody's going to hurt. I mean, it would be fun. 
clip if I sim swap you and then just start posting like some crazy shit on your Instagram. Is that possible? Yes. Do you think you're a bad guy? Nah, I feel like it's worse people. Robin Hood was well liked because he took from the rich and gave to the poor. Yeah. Do you view yourself as a modern day Robin Hood? Take from the rich and give to the poor. I really take from the poor and then the rich is me. What wallet? What in the... Nigga, that's not like a diabolical supervillain type of quote? What the fuck? Do you recommend to people to protect them from scammers? There is no wallet. Or if it was, I wouldn't tell nobody. Okay, so how can someone avoid that wallet scam? Use Apple Pay, I guess. So but just don't we, carry a wallet? Yeah, don't carry a wallet. That's the only way to avoid it. Yeah. How much does this thing cost? Hold on, I didn't even think about that. Apple Pay is low-key copy. Yo, if I just use Apple Pay, do I need a wallet? Nigga! Oh my god! Wait, what if they don't have Apple Pay where you're going? See? Not everybody has Apple Pay. $38,000. $38, Just for the pendant. How can I tell this is real or fake? I'm gonna get a diamond sister. We can go to the jewelry store. Not sure how illegal this all is, but YouTube, this is educational purposes, a documentary. Don't ban this. Don't strike this. Don't age restrict it. Let me show the people what they need to see to protect themselves. So is there like an exit strategy in the scammer world? Because I feel like your, your clock's ticking. My Yo, clock's ticking. My I mean, eventually, right? Back. I mean, even Al Capone got, got you know? I'm the Al Capone. I'm punch made dev. Undefeated. What's your guys' take on scamming? Oh, the, the government scamming. They doing bill, billion dollar scam. What's the little millions and shit we take? What's that going to hurt? All right, guys, let's hit the bank. Wait, 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 he might have been cooking, chat. He might Hold on, though. Hold on. The government did just get done telling us that they didn't have money for student loan relief, for bridges, infrastructure, hospitals, teacher pay, and then printed a couple fucking trillion for COVID. They did just get done doing that. So, I mean, who knows, man? What are you guys thinking? My bullshit detector's going off a little bit. That's fake bling, I feel like. It had like that tin can rattle to it. Should I never we call Tracks NYC and see if he can tell us if punch mate yes. stuff is real or fake? Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm about to film someone doing something sketchy at a bank, but I need, I'm trying to find out how I can t tell if something's a fake diamond or not. We're with punch mate Dev and he has allegedly quarter million dollars of bling on his neck and I want to call Tracks and see how we know if he's legit or not. Do you have any like photos of it you could just send me quick before? Is that a jeweler? Yeah. Send me Mickey the photos tracks? and then I'll let you know. Cool, alright, sounds good. Who the hell are you doing right now? I'm about to hit a wire. What does that mean? Log in and um, wire some money up. Tommy's trying to learn how to scale. <laughs> That's what Tommy's trying to no, do. No, the, the goal of this episode is to learn how to protect the people at home from this type of tomfoolery. That, 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 how much are you going to clean this guy up? If they'll give me... from this type of tomfoolery. That, 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 How much are you gonna clean this? Whoa. Whoa. Tommy wants the method. Nigga, he taught us the method in the song. We... This guy out. If they'll give me 20, I'll do it. What's gonna happen, you're gonna walk in there, yeah. you're gonna wire transfer money to yourself from someone else's account. How quick is all this gonna happen, you think? 10 minutes. Have you ever known someone that's been scammed? No, but I've almost been scammed myself. How, how did you almost get scammed? Well, I mean, people call you every day. With Somebody called me yesterday and told me I had $2,500 worth of vacation points. And I've they, never signed up for anything. What should be the punishment for a scammer? There Probation? should definitely be a punishment. I don't know what the punishment should be. A jury should determine that. Yeah, look at this fucking nod. Nice. Shout out to this citizen of the United States of America. Like, yo, she's a real good fucking gal. Good fucking gal. All right? Also, like, those are like elementary scams. I'm not gonna lie. If you fall for, if you fall for a, a phone scam, like, you're fried, champ. You're not gonna, hey, bro. Fair enough. Has anyone attempted to scam you before? Yes. How do they do it? Uh, with my debit. And what happened to you okay. when they tried to scam you? Uh, I just found a charge on my debit card that I didn't do. Ooh, this was in Arizona. <laughs> How much was it for? It wasn't a lot. It was only about $80. Bro, did you watch the video, nigga? Did you watch the fucking music video? He said don't get caught on no petty shit for a little fucking buck or two, nigga. 
Did the bank refund you? Yeah, they did. What should be the punishment for scammers? I'm not sure. See, I got their balance right there, 430k. <coughs> no matter what, I add to this account that I got. Right here. 400 See, what? I got their balance right there, 430k. No matter why, I add to this account that I got right here. So I'm gonna try to just do a quick ten real quick. Oh, how nice of you, Dev. You're only taking ten racks instead of only ten thousand. All right, let's do it. I just want to make a withdrawal today, please. Yeah, no problem. Do you have one? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I do. Perfect. Whenever you're ready, you can have it. Whoa, come on, bro. We got the first person POV of the method? <laughs> the nigga said the feds are happy as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> bro. Okay, okay. You Tommy, right? nice to meet What's you. Up, man? So why do you think scamming's become so popular? So fast. What know. do you guys think when kids look up to you? It's actually pretty crazy. You don't want to work for 50 years, to back broke, and then you can finally do what you want because you finally got some money. How long do you guys want to be in the game for before you're... I, I want to be like probably 30 then invest. Forever, nigga. Wait, where's the runner? 310. Let me sniff it to make sure. Yeah, go ahead. What are you gonna do with this ten thousand dollars? I might uh, give it back. What's the most amount of money you ever walked out of a bank with? Seventy thousand. How did that feel? Feel good. Feel amazing. Went about a chain with it. We're gonna head to a gas station next and show you the next scam to avoid. We just got a message Bro. from Mickey. They're probably real. Might be more than a quarter million dollars. What? And um, on his Instagram, the one with all like the MasterCards, I think I saw like a different jeweler actually post them who made them like a while ago. So yeah, it's real. Sorry, Punch my Dev, we thought you were fake. You know who tracks NYC is? Yeah. I asked him if your shit was fake, guess what he said? He said it's real. Oh, he got me? <laughs> no, no, he said it's real though. Yeah, I know, I was saying he got my back, man, you know? Ain't no denying that. This is why I thought it was fake, was the clunking sound. Everything don't sound if like it that. Don't sound like that. You need to be looking suspicious. I will admit that I was wrong. Plus, I know nothing about bling. So we're getting into skimmers. Me neither. And dumps. And dumps. what's a dump? So say if I wanted to write up a dump, right? I would get a track win, oh, uh, a 101 or a 201. So I get the information off my site. You can use the white blanks, but this one's better because it got a whole face. This is the big boy win. The one right here, this is the Bluetooth one I got, but I couldn't bring it on the plane with me, so. How much does this cost? Can't be no more than like 100. And how much does this major? It's like over 500K. So if someone says they're a certified dumper, this is what they're talking about. They could either be the person getting the dumps with the skimmer, or they could be the person writing them up using them. Say like, I know somebody working at McDonald's, right? I'll give them a skimmer and they work through the drive-through. Just say somebody's buying something right now, right? They'll pay, right? And then my person will quickly go like this, right swipe it on the, off from my end, and that's when I get all the info. And That is insane. That is fucking insane. Yo, that this scam right here is the one that gets me the most nervous, bro. This scam is the reason why I don't use my debit card anywhere. I only use my credit cards. You're not about to, like, bro, you're going to have to take the bank's money, nigga. Like, that's insane. I didn't know that they have to hold it, though. Because uh, I thought they could just install it and then it sends them the information, but... Okay, so that's cool. That means if you go to an ATM, you're probably good. End of the day, I have like a list of like 20 of them. I'm about to wipe this one empty. I'm about to write up a dump on it for y'all. Is the FBI looking into you? Because how are you not in federal prison at this point? It's <laughs> a good question though. It's a really good question, man. You know what I'm doing? You got a VPN, a proxy? They can install it? Fuck. C server, RDP. And the way someone stops this is by hitting lock on their bank account, right? Yeah. So as far as scamming goes, are you feel like your NBA level scammer? Oh, I'm, I'm like LeBron of the scammer and Michael Jordan combined. Does yeah. your mother know you're a scammer? No, nah, I tell her I do crypto. All right, so now I got the numbers plugged <laughs> in. I'm about thing. to run this through. So now I just wrote somebody else's info on here. How much money is on that card? This one got about like a $600 balance. Wherever y'all went, we're about to go get everything for free real quick. Are they gonna eat this cost or the bank eat this cost? The bank's gonna eat it. They really gonna. You're sure? 
for something small like this, that was a wire that'd be like 10 to 14. This is when you get a message on your phone, like, yeah, yeah. was this you and you yeah. just say no and then they reimburse you. Give it back in like less than 24 hours. Tastes better, feels better when it's free. How <laughs> does it? I'm gonna spend my own hard-earned money. They can spend the, the other guy's money. Has anyone ever tried to scam you before? Yeah, of course. In what way? Well, how do they try and do it? Oh, I got almost scammed on a puppy thing online. You had to pay a down payment for a puppy and then there was no puppy? They were trying to with like fake what pictures the and then I just canceled it because I said this feels like a scam. What do you think should happen to a scammer if they get caught? I mean, there should be some sort of legal repercussion. What do you think? That's tough to say. What would you say if you met a scammer in real life? I'd probably punch him. That's not your body, champ. Like, why, yo, bro? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why we all look at you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I get scanned in the next 24 hours, I'll be calling you guys for help, okay? Yeah, we got your back. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, everything's free for everybody today. What? Really? Yeah. Thank you. I would love some white owl white grape, please. Oh, anything. Everything's free today. Go get some. Go get your oh, get 36 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Niggas like uh, the scamming Mr. Beast. That up here. Everything's free today. I know, I said the same thing. <laughs> they call him what? Punch made dab. Okay, who is he? Punch made dev, how do you describe yourself? A great person. Uh, Very caring. Uh, also, nice. he would describe himself as a rapper and a scammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Internet. Uh, you, hey, look, you got, hey, look now. Look now, okay? Now look, you got a decision to make here. Are you a fraud? Or are you gonna throw hands? You said if you saw a scammer, but now this scammer is blessing you. So, what's the call? Most famous scammer. Oh goodness. Well, good for him, he's doing good doing. What? You was, hey, see this is why I don't trust shit nobody's fucking says on interviews, dog. This is a prolific scammer in your midst. You said you would punch a scammer, but now it's good for him. Cause he's buying you shit. And it, I guess. <laughs> that touched me. What are we doing? The duality of man, folks. The yin and yang of life, huh? We just went into a and he came out with ten thousand dollars cash. It works. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate it. Yo, hold on. Hey. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Come on, bro. Wait, wait. Yeah, this is no morals, like. Yeah, you get scammed, you get upset about it, but none of them get scammed and you benefit from it, and now all of a sudden it's, I appreciate it. Bro, fraudulent ass, bro. Zero morals. Because if you if you had morals, you would stand on what you said. Feel me? It's funny how their tune changes as soon as the scammer's helping them. They don't Dead care. Yes. We punch him. <laughs> Which I could see why. People are complicated, you know? People are very complicated. I heard the guy that's card that is was working hard at McDonald's for 10 hours for that money. Oh, yeah, he's working very hard. <laughs> he's running his credit. It didn't decline? Uh, no, I didn't decline. I never got it. Tell me, tell me. probably have a nice day. And sometimes they try to make you use the chip. But that's why you just jam the chip and make it make it purposely decline. So Type what you just in. did, you follow a step by step of your own instruction yes. from the song. How is an ordinary person stop that from happening to them? Please, there's no way. Just if, if you, you use your card, debit card, shut the bank off right away. Yeah, but it's not even you losing it though. You'll just go like you'll go pay for it somewhere, or I have somebody at an inside like a McDonald's, and they'll swipe that through, and then card info is mine. So the next scam we're gonna go into is the skimmer. They'll put a skimmer on top of this. I mean, a skimmer on top of this. It's mainly the one in the store too, like the one that I just used. You'll have another like it's quick. Like somebody will pull up and just plop. So this is the one I'm thinking about. So that's different. A dump is different. Okay, so hold on, chat. Let's get the terminology down. A dump is what we had just seen. You jam the scanner, and then after that, you swipe the shit. Boom. Feel me? This is a skimmer. This is the shit I get really paranoid about. You feel me? This is the shit I get really paranoid about because you never know when someone could have installed it. You don't know, bro. You don't know, especially in areas I'm not familiar with. Been on quick and you won't even know. So would you know if you walked up to a one with a skimmer? Would you know? Yeah, I would know. So but you can tell. Yeah. Where's the next spot we're pulling up to? Wait, how do you we tell? Push that piece so, in. You guys, what's going through your head right now? We've seen a few scams. It was pretty much step by step, like you described in the song. Just make it decline twice and then swipe it. He literally did his own playbook in front of us. Yeah. It's just crazy how easy it is. It does. Bro, I can say I'm finna be in federal prison. <laughs> Fucking flame emojis. <laughs> Yo.
Bro, what? I'm not gonna lie, the only, the only scams I ever heard of, chat, is not like these scams. They're like methods. And they usually involve like businesses, like it's a specific thing at Best Buy or it's a specific Verizon store. You know, like I don't, I, I'm, I didn't know like these scams feel like a crazy, like a different tier. It doesn't feel as bad when you're stealing from banks. Like if I knew that he was causing people to get evicted or not be able to pay rent or not be able to afford their kids, <laughs> I'd be really pissed and want to strangle him. But I don't, I'm not as angry that he's scamming a bank. I feel like everybody's got to foot the cost eventually. So like, I feel like that's just getting passed on to the, the consumer. It's kind of like the hood Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah. He's kind of the hood Mr. Like Beast. chaotic evil Mr. Beast. I love that. The hood Mr. Beast. Punch me. Look at his gram. Somebody, hey, hey, Mods, you mind pinning it for me, please? Yeah. Everybody listen up. This is a punch lesson. Go and get a fire card in sight. Go to the dump section. You never get a... How many pizzas Domino's. Have you punched from this place? Domino's ain't really my first choice, but if you're gonna steal a pizza. I feel like this is like the the C level place to steal from. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to call them. I'm about to uh, order like six, seven pizzas, and then they're gonna ask for the card details over the phone. I'm gonna give it to them. You just give someone else his card. Yeah. Pick up. That's so smart. Kane, can I get a large cheese pizza? One Fried months or maybe pizza, some sausage uh, pizza? <laughs> <laughs> One large pepperoni. One large sausage. One large sausage, so. Capture shall be $54.09. Yeah, so I could punch it? Yeah. So you just punch the pizza? Yeah, punched a couple pizzas for free. How can Domino's protect themselves from people like you? <laughs> Yo, so Kanu, thank you for the gift. They can't, they just gotta hope. People like me don't want to eat there. Should we do an ATM and then pick up the pizzas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hit the ATM. All right, we're hitting the ATM. About to show you how to use a clone card real quick. Easy money, man. Okay. It's like magic. Wait, you didn't show us anything, man. You just did it. All right, so what the hell just happened? We just pieced up a chip, took it into the ATM, and cleared that. Bitch. I had my runner go in there, cleared that hell out. When we pull up in a ski mask to a bank, do you think that sets off any alarms? Yeah, but it's too late by the time we leave. Did you notice the two Lexington police officers yeah, in a nearby yeah, parking lot? On the street, yeah, I seen them. Yeah, they be there all the time. You just gotta know your area. The theme I'm getting with all these scams is the only way to stop it is just don't let your stuff get stolen. Yeah. If you lose a card, tell the bank to lock it and the bank will reimburse you if someone like you strikes. Yeah, the only thing is if like somebody was to wire out more than a quarter million out of your bank account, the government, they only protect up to 250,000. FDIC insured yeah. up to 250K. Yeah. If it's no more than 250K, you're good. People that are watching this that say, Punch May Dev is a piece of shit. What do you say to them? Yo, I think this happened to me, chat. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure this happened to me. Cause I told y'all about this. Like a few months ago, 15,000 left my account. My banker called me. I said, that was not me. And I did get my shit back. Huh. I say you, I probably scammed you or I will soon. What are the consequences for scamming? Like what, what are the penalties someone can face for this? It could be a whole bunch of factors. A wire fraud is already one. I mean, you could do it to like 20 plus years. Wire fraud years. is a federal case, right? Yeah. So how are you not scared to let us into your world today? I know what I'm doing. Does anyone in your crew have a normal job? No. None of you guys do nine to fives? Yeah, no. Nah. Why would they? It's free money. I mean, you gotta have a way to cover it up, you know? Some of us do videos, some of us rap, some of us sell clothes. Is this your dream job? <laughs> How long do you plan on being in this game? Forever. It's really, I don't really You're going to be a grandpa scamming people? Yeah, I'm going to be 70 years old, still walking in and out the bank. When your kids get old enough to see what you've what? done on the internet, what do you think you're going to tell your kids? I'm going to tell them life isn't supposed to be taken so seriously, so just enjoy it and have fun. And... If you wanted to buy a home or a rental property with this money, you think you could do that? I have a home. I have a home. Yeah, I got a, a big ass crib, movie theater, everything in there. I got marble floors, five bedrooms upstairs. I got two bedrooms downstairs, a gym, movie theater upstairs. Upstairs, a pool in the backyard. Right, you can nah. see my closet right here a little bit. Look at yeah. the closet you recently came out of. Hashtag Pride Mon. <laughs> our pizza's probably ready. It's time to get our pizzas. Sorry, Domino's. Yo, these niggas, wait, hold on, pause. These niggas scammed the pizza, and then while the scam pizza was getting prepared, they went to the ATM to 
steal more money and then they went back to the pizza that's insane they couldn't even like chill in the car for 40 minutes they're like oh my god <laughs> let's get this next scam off real quick bro <laughs> that's have you ever insane people are scamming their way into pizzas yes how do they do that they lie they lie about everything how can Domino's protect itself against scammers we put their number in the system block them yeah. it's a good thing i got multiple numbers Bro, anybody can get a new number with fucking Google Voice. Everybody knows that. Jesus. I can spawn like 50 numbers on fucking artificial. Bro, that's like, come on, man. That's chump change. Literally, that's chump change, bro. Like, come on, bro. You're going to block a number, man. You're not protecting yourself. Literally. That's how you punch a pizza. Free eats. Sorry, Domino's. It's this guy. Free pizza. What percent of your food you guys actually pay for? Maybe 5%. <laughs> if you guys did this to a mom and pop shop, would you feel bad? Nah. Hell no. Nah. How old are you, Dad? Teeth Below 25. How old were you when you first started doing stuff like this? Like 15. What was what? the first scam you ever pulled? It was like e-whoring. I would get like a pictures of like uh, a girl I knew or somebody on the internet that looked like a regular girl though. You don't want to get like fucking Ruby Rose or oh, something e like that. E-whoring. Yeah, e-whoring. Post it all on Tinder, all them dating apps. And I'd be like, add me on Snap, but then I'll sell like a premium and shit like that. That shit was ass though. Like just texting like niggas all day. I ain't like doing that. So what, he was flirting with a whole bunch of niggas for bread? That was his first scam. Probably takes forever. Yeah, and it was slower too. So you impersonate a decently hot chick mm -hmm. pretending to send exclusive Snapchats mm -hmm. to thirsty guys out there. And I'll do meetups too. I'll be like uh, 300 for a meetup. And people will literally drive like three to four hours away. But he wants me to tell him what car he's in so he knows like I'm actually there, the female. So he'll pull up to the fucking uh, cul-de-sac. He was like, he was in a white Benz. So I was like, I see you in the white Benz. He was like, can I just come in and then pay you after? I was like, nah, send the money up front. It's like late at night too. And then uh, he sent it and I told him I didn't get it. I told him send it again. He sent it again. He was like, this is my last. I'm literally going negative and I won't have any gas to get home. I swear to God. And then uh, he sent that. And you I didn't feel bad at this point? No, nah, I, I rolled up the window and I yelled, it's the fucking police. And nigga drove off. <laughs> he was down to his last while driving a Benz. Yeah. So what do you think about some people's financial priorities? Like I feel like some people is yeah. they live what? above their means. One of my pet peeves is littering. <laughs> what the hell is this? We gotta feed birds. birds. Yeah. The birds it's not eat. yeah, I'm just feeding the animals. How much you think this ring? Now, if you really sit down, you really think about it, bro, you can't litter with food. Cause an animal is gonna come and eat that to survive. You can litter with plastic and garbage and shit like that. You can dead ass just throw your food on the ground, bro. Don't throw it in a, like, don't be nasty. But like, if you put, if you put, bro, most food can compost. So it's healthy for the environment regardless. But then a, like a bird is going to come and eat it. Or like, there's so many animals that eat food. Like, I don't know. I just learned like last week that bunnies eat pizza. So like, I don't know. You can literally just throw the pizza on the ground. I swear to God, you can throw the bread on the ground. But, um... If you if you throw plastic, obviously nobody's eating that. That's literally just litter. I'm not. They can call me a litter god, bro. No, I don't litter. I throw all my shit out. But I'm just saying it's technically not littering because animals want that. Cost. That was sixteen. Sixteen thousand dollars a year from Johnny. Okay, so we're here at the Airbnb you have for the day. You're gonna show us the last scam of the day. A big wave right now is cash up. This one's going crazy. Do fifty five eight. So fifty five thousand. Literally that simple. And how did you do that? Got to pay for the size, man, but, and I can cash that out. All right, I don't really know what just happened. <laughs> this is what I do know. We just gave you a how-to video, how to avoid getting scammed, yeah, right? Yeah, how to avoid getting scammed, educational purposes. I encourage everybody to make money in a legitimate fashion, in a way that you can look yourself in the mirror, be proud of what you're doing, so folks, we just looked into the, the life of the internet's most famous scammer, Punch Made Dev. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Peace. No, that's not, bro, why did nigga say, is that yours? No, I don't have money in my cash app. What the fuck is, bro, no. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's insane. Bro. I don't even know what to say. That's fucking nuts.